Hello everyone, my name is Morgan and welcome to Persona 3. Yeah, this is uh, totally different from any games I've played on my channel before. <laughs> like like I've mentioned uh, when I was promoting my secret series. Hey, 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 what the hell? Okay, that was rude. I guess we have to press any button. Oh, it's the Persona 4 sound, sound effect. Ah, okay, we're gonna have to do it like this. So it doesn't tr try and play a preview or an opening menu or anything. As I was saying, yeah, I mentioned uh, in Dandelion that the next Let's Play was going to be uh, something different, <laughs> very different from what we've done on the channel before. I have never played Persona 3. Persona 4 Golden and Persona 5 Royal are two of my all-time favorite games. I can't choose between them. I love them both so much for completely different reasons. This sound effect is really getting me though. I'm like, it's the Persona 4 sound effect, ah! Also, if you've never seen a Persona game before, if you've never played a Persona game before, and you're like, I can't jump in at three, you can. <laughs> Persona's one of those series where you could start with five if you wanted to, you could start with three, four, it doesn't matter, you don't have to go back to the beginning. Um, each game was its own separate thing. Yeah, I, f I figure it's about time that I played Persona 3, and I thought, why not do it with you guys on the channel here? Um, I, maybe I could be introducing some of you to Persona. Uh, maybe some of you have never played Persona 3, and maybe you've been wanting to play Persona 3 and you just haven't. I'm here, I'm your gal, I've got you. I don't know much about this game. I mean, what I do know is that in this game, to some of their Personas, they use guns. And I also know <laughs> the very, very ending scene of the game. Um, I don't know how we get to that point, but Persona 3's been out for so long now, and you're in the Persona fandom, you just sort of know. <laughs> how Persona 3 ends. I mean, I'm not gonna say anything in case you don't know. Yeah, I don't know how we get to that point or anything. I am going to be playing as the female protagonist. I know some people say like, oh, you should play the male protagonist first. I'm, I'm not doing that. Um, I just wanna be a girl. <laughs> I'm so excited to be a girl in a Persona game. I'm tired of being a male. You know, I'm tired of going on the trips with the bros where we're like, let's score some babes. Like, I'm, I'm tired of that. <laughs> I'm ready to be a girl. And there she is. I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm excited to get to know the characters and everything. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Um, usually when I start something new, I have an idea of who my favorite character is gonna be. I don't really know any of the characters. Um, I'm drawn to the guy with the beanie. I feel like he doesn't come in until way later, but he's the one I'm drawn to right off the bat. Um, my top four favorite Persona characters. Um, number one, Goro Akechi. If you've been on this channel, you've heard me talk about him a lot because not only is he my favorite Persona character, he's my favorite character ever. Another one of my fa all-time favorite characters and my second favorite Persona character is Yosuke, and then after that is Naoto, and then after that is Futaba. So maybe if you know this game and just based off my favorites, you have an idea of who my favorite might be. But clearly I have a preference for the detective prince, but I'm 100% sure there is not a detective prince in this game. <laughs> so that's not an option. Um, yeah, I think I've said all that I need to say. The episodes for this Let's Play might be a little longer because Persona games are long. I also think it's gonna be really difficult for me to go way back to Persona 3 after being used to the glory that is five <laughs> and its controls, but you know what? Let's just do this. All right, I, I hate to do it this way. There's control, literally controls on the screen. And I, I'm playing with an emulator, if you can't tell. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to record, <laughs> record this. Um, Literally, there's no other way for me. Like, I can't even start the game unless I have the controls on the screen like this. And I hate that. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the world of P3P, thank you. Oh. In this game, you can select the gender of the main character. The controls went away. I like that. The course of the game will change based on the main character's gender. By choosing a male main character, you'll be able to play a version very close to the original P3. I don't care. <laughs> I want to be a girl. This is recommended for new players who haven't yet to experience P3. I don't care. <laughs> The female main character added to this game is not just for female players. She's also for veter- I don't care. My my best friend played it for the first time as the female protagonist. There's there's no issue, okay? I don't care. Now please choose a gender. I literally, I don't care. I'm a girl. I'm being the girl. Thank you very much. Also, the controls seem to be working fine now. It just didn't look like it didn't want me to start, start the game without that. Okay, whatever. Begin the stories? Yes. Yes, I'm a girl. Shut up. <laughs> I'm not being the boy. Okay. Next, choose a difficulty setting. Okay, here's the thing. Your choice will not influence the storyline. Because I am playing on an emulator, I I feel like I'm gonna have a really hard time with the controls. That like that might screw me over if I go normal. I normally go normal in Persona games, but I've also never played Persona games on an emulator. Ah, screw it. You don't be able to change the difficulty after this. Alright, well. Or 
Hopefully the controls don't screw me over. Normal will ju work just fine. Okay, now please enjoy the game. Thank you. Thank you. Um. At least the controls don't seem to be on the screen anymore. Ah, oh, a butterfly. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You, who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter, with your heart as your guide. Yeah, I'm always given a year. If you've never played a Persona game, it, it takes place over the course of the year, every every time. Well, I've never played one or two, so can't speak to that, but... Ooh, the moon moving at me at a very slow rate. Terminal station, evening. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. Yeah, I forgot that um, Persona 3 works a bit more like a visual novel than 4 and 5 do. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Oh, a girl. I just put it to my head and pull the trigger. I know that song. It's a very famous persona song. No chickening out. Look, I'm not concerned. Like I said, I know that they use personas. Uh, they summon personas with their gun. I'm assuming that's what you're doing. No, I can't. Or maybe not. <laughs> it's so weird it being a visual novel. <laughs> Inside the new city passenger train, Ane Hazuru. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. The next stop is Iwatodai. What is with the butterfly? Iwatodai. I'm here. You arrived late. It's almost midnight. That is late. Oh. What just happened? Well, that's spooky. <laughs> Something about the atmosphere seems odd. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. <laughs> yeah, the, the atmosphere is a little odd. Oh, that's a bit more than odd. As you walk from the station, those are coffins. You notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. Yeah, that's weird. We're getting straight into it, aren't we? It's an eerily gigantic moon. What is this building? Uh, Ge Gecko Ken? G Gecko Ken? High School. It would, it would totally dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. New school. Welcome. Dark hour. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. Ew. <laughs> Why are you creepy? An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. If you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. I think I am scared. You're scary. I'll, every time you blink, there's a weird white line that pops up. I don't know if the game's like that or if it's the emulator. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Something is written on the paper he's holding out to you. I chooseth the fate of my own free will. Below it is a blank is a blank to sign your name. Ah, okay. Get to pick my name. So normally my default in Persona games 
is Scooby-Doo. That is what I name the protagonist in 4 and 5 all the time is Scooby-Doo. I'm a girl now, so that doesn't really work. So I brought out a random name generator and we're going to see what it gives us. The first name it gave us is Millie Cook. I hate that. Do I... See, I, I told myself that the rule would be, I'm just gonna pick whatever the, the first name that it generates. Millie Cook? Millie Cook? Okay, I'm gonna give myself one more random, randomly generated name and we'll pick which is the best between the two. Tracy Kelly. Okay, that's just freaking generic. Fine, we're Millie Cook. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here forever trying to come up with a name. So we're, we're Millie Cook now? It's me, Millie Cook. <laughs> Yay! Uh, proceed. Yeah, I don't like this name, but it's what we're. <laughs> it's what the internet told me to do, and I told myself that's what I was gonna do. So, sorry. Those are the rules. Someone watching this video is like, "Hey, my name's Very Millie Cook." Well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. You're and really creepy. So it begins. The unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness. Who's there? Hello? How can oh, you? Be? But it's. You're the one with a gun. Don't tell me. The girl is holding something that looks like a gun. Yeah. Wait. Oh, you. <gasps> I've seen her before. I've seen what? most of the characters before. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. God, you just sound like Edelgard. <laughs> you sound, you're, you're Edelgard from Farm of the Three Houses, aren't you? I don't like Edelgard. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's she? She's Me? a transfer student. I'm Millie Cook. <laughs> decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Is it okay for her to be here? She sounds familiar too. I guess we'll see. Maybe my mind's making that up. This is Yukari Takeba. Hi. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Oh, I'm a, I'm a junior. Hi, I'm Yukari. Um, nice to meet uh, you. Yeah. D don't question people why they have guns. Nice to meet you too. It might end badly. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Your thing should already be there. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. <laughs> that sounded like a threat. Dormitory, third floor hallway at the furthest door. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Um, does that boy live here? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. The weird little creepy boy. Yukari doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? On your no. way here from the station, was everything okay? No, there were coffins outside. Uh, what do you mean? You know what I... Never mind. It seems like you're alright. Well, I better get going. Okay, bye. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but... Quite a few. Save them for later, okay? Good night. Yukari walked down the stairs. This is your assigned room. Home sweet home. Use the directional buttons or analog stick to move the cursor. Hold down the O button to make the cursor move faster. Also press the R button to display all the icons that can be accessed. Press the R button again to hide the icons. Okay, give me a lot of controls off the bat. Press the triangle button to access config, erase data, load data, and title screen. Woo! Bet. You are tired today. You should go to bed early. Oh no, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> that was really stupid of me to pick the bed first. Okay. Calendar. Ah! Nice. What do I got going on on the 9th? Oh. Guess we'll never know. <laughs> you are tired today. Okay. I'm not allowed to at least look at my desk. Can I look at my TV? No, I'm tired. At least it's not a cat <laughs> telling me to go to sleep. Like in Persona 5. I'm making my own deci decision. The mirror reflects your regular face. It sure does. This is so weird. It's so different from other Persona games. <laughs> that is older. Okay, yep. I'm, I'm going to sleep. Good night. 
It's April 7th. <laughs> knock, knock. <laughs> it's Yukari. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Uh, totally. Okay, then let's go. Woo! The, the way this train makes it look like we're like flying through the sky. There's so much blue out there. Inside the new city passenger train, Ane Hazuru. I'll learn how to say that properly one day. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. O or the sky. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? On the train yesterday. Island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh look, you can see it now. <laughs> I recognize this from Persona 4 Golden. <laughs> there, There's a part in Persona 4 where T they go on a field trip and it is to the school. <laughs> Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekkokan High. Gekkokan, that's how you say it. it here. You're okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. That was it. Do you have any questions before I go? You showed me the front entrance. Unless we skip the rest of the tour. Um, oh. Where's my classroom? I on the bulletin board, but I haven't checked yet either. Hey, about last night, don't tell anyone what you saw. Okay? What about the creepy little boy? See you later. I don't think anyone would believe me anyway. <laughs> Look at the people. This is so weird. It's so different. They're so dated, <laughs> which I mean makes sense. There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. Okay, press the square button to select an area and go there immediately. Please make use of this function to move around. Gosh, this is so weird! Two students are talking. Okay, you've got sprites, so you guys gonna be like social links or something? I don't know if they're called social links in this game. Hey, angry girl. Hey, Kaz, why are you wearing your PE uniform? School just started. You really ought to find somewhere to change into some normal clothes. Uh, I guess. Okay, okay, fine. Quit glaring at me like that. I gave him my d generic NPC fr voice from Twisted Wonderland. <laughs> hey, where's the bulletin board with the home rooms posted? It's right there. You're in class F, cause. God, you're such a freaking idiot. I'm in a different home room, so I can't keep an eye on you. Ugh, I worry about you sometimes. You're so stupid. Are these people important? Okay, you don't have a sprite. Huh, the faculty faculty office? Um, I think it's that way. Actually, I'm new here, so you pr should probably ask someone else. I'm also new here. A lot of people in here. Oh great! I have the worst teacher ever. I hope I don't have that teacher. There's no need. Oh, there's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are gonna be in our class. I mean, we'll never see them again after we graduate, anyways. So you should just never learn the names of the people in your class. What? Well, I didn't see my name. What should I do? What should I do? Well, you've been kicked out of the school. Sorry to tell you. Oh, you look like Yukiko. <laughs> oh, we're in different classes. Eh, whatever. Hi there, welcome! Oh, okay. Who are you? Vendor. Hmm, you seem interested in what we've got on sale. You must be a new student. I don't have enough bread for everyone, so if you want some, come early. I don't have any customers once school's out, so I can't sell that much. I, do, do I even have money? What would you like? Money. 3,000 yen. What? I don't know what any of this is. Give me an apple strudel. It's very... Okay, I don't know what that did, but whatever. This guy looks very angry. Yeah, I thought you'd have a, sp have a sprite. Humph. Kids these days don't know how to respect... How to show respect for their elders. Where are their teachers? We've lived longer than them. But Moriyama and her gang had to... Pull that on me at the very beginning of the term. I'm sorry, sir, but I have to go. It's time for, it's time to place my order. Even you're showing me away? Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Alright, I get it. <laughs> I'm just like, shut up and leave me alone. You want me to order more of those cream-filled breads like you so much you like so much, right? You could have just asked instead of complaining and being a dick. But no. Let's go to the faculty office. 
This is so weird, the way this controls. Ah! A man wearing a ka ka kabuto, who looks like a teacher, is talking to a foreign male student. Why does he have a helmet on? You're a teacher, right? You can let the Persona 4 teachers, but they're all like wearing weird hats and having puppets. Do you see? Every man must have the passionate samurai spirit within him. At our school, we encourage our students to think like samurai in order to accomplish great things. That's weird. Uh, that's fantastic! The teachers of Bushido are important uh, than as they are now! <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yes, you may not be a native of this island, but the spirit of the samurai flows through you just the same. They seem to be having fun. La la la. Hello. Hmm? S strange, it says this is the library here, but I was just in one- But I was just in one down the hall. Is that another classroom? I realized that I forgot to look at the bulletin board downstairs. Can I go back? <laughs> class, class rosters are posted. You can't find your name. Oh, well, I'll just give up then. Because <laughs> I'm probably it's probably gonna make me go to the faculty office for it. Faculty office, found it. The faculty office, let's go. Oh, are you the new student? Sure I am. Millie Cook? Yeah, that's me. I forgot I forgot my name. It's me, Millie Cook. Eleventh grade, correct? The teacher is flipping through pages in a file. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was right. Uh, ten years ago. Ten years Paris. ago. It's 2009. Man, so these characters are full-grown adults now. I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. Wait, wh I teach why'd you gasp? Welcome to our school. Uh, I'm pleased to meet My. you. Aren't you polite? Girls like you should be an example for others. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. Oh my god, you seem so normal. Yay! <laughs> I don't have an awful teacher like in Persona 4. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. Okay. As you begin the new school year. As you begin the new school year, I'm your old principal. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with his boring as hell speech. Huh? You can hear the students around you whispering about something. I heard we got a transfer student. Hey, I'm right here. Yep. I've seen her too. She came to school with you, Kari. Smirking classmate. I hear talking. I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> Stupid teacher. Don't, don't, don't get my teacher in trouble. Doesn't seem like the rumors will stop anytime soon. At least it's not like the rumors in Persona 5 where everyone hates me. Homeroom is over. Your first after school session is about to begin. Set, dude. <laughs> you look Junpei. Like a deer in headlights. I know nothing about him. I just know that he exists. His name is Junpei. I think he's supposed to be like the bro character. I don't know that he will be because I'm a girl, though. And he looks like he likes baseball. <laughs> he's like one of the only characters in this game I actually know his name. Uh, who are you? I'm You're Junpei. Junpei Yori. Nice to meet you. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. Yeah. So I thought I'd check up on you. Make sure you weren't freaking out on your first day. Ugh, at it again, huh? Honestly, is there any girl you wouldn't hit on? Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? I'll say, yeah. Um, I'm, gl I'm glad to have a friend. A friend? Oh, you mean me. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, I decided. I, I'm glad we ended up in the same class, too. Now I can make sure I keep your mouth shut about what you saw last night. Um, hello. Did you forget I'm in this class, too? Come on, let me in on the fun. By the way, do you guys know each other? I heard you two came to school together this morning. A couple of cuties like you walking side by side. <laughs> the whole class was buzzing about you. Ugh, 
Can't you just so different. It out? I hate dealing with rumors like that. I'm being referred to as a cutie by one of the male characters. I truly am a female in a Persona game. Life is good. <laughs> I would love for Persona 6 to at least have the option of a female protagonist, but I know that's a pipe dream. I mean, I'm used to it, but she just got here, you know? Don't you feel bad spreading rumors like that? Well, yeah, Junpei. I'm to take care of some archery team stuff. Don't try anything funny. You got that, Junpei? What is she, your nanny? Well, just to clear something up, I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. Well, you're my old pal already? Um... Thanks, Junpei. No prob. My door's always open, so to speak. Junpei caught up to you in the halls and persuaded you into letting him walk you back to the dorm. Whoa. Check out the jocks on the run. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Nope. Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Junpei while walking back. I can't- this setup is gonna take so much time for me to get used to. There's a sign-in sheet on the counter. You can save your game at the sign-in sheet. Okay. Back. Hey, I'm Mitsuru. You really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's too dangerous, you know, weird coffins and all. Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good night's rest. <laughs> this music, ugh. You turn on the television. It's a trend that just might spread all over town. Our next story is about the cherry blossoms. It's springtime and they're all over town now. The blossoms this year were a little late compared to other years, but they'll be at their peak this week. Neato. Hi. Oh, hi. What are you doing? Um, just, just looking around. Oh, there's not much to see. You'll probably get pretty tired, huh? And maybe you should go to bed early tonight so you don't see the weird creepy little boy again. No promises. Oh, I made it to a new floor. Ah, uh, vending machine. I'm sure I'm gonna be able to buy stuff from there. These are all vacant rooms. Uh, Akihiko's room. I know him. My best friend likes him. The name plate says Akihiko. There's someone inside. Hey, hey, Akihiko. Zamatsuro. I'm busy now. Sorry, but could you come back later? Okay. I guess I have no other business up here. Oh no, I can go up higher. I'm exploring. Um, that's Mitsuru's room. Nameplate says Mitsuru. Mitsuru doesn't seem to be in her room because she's downstairs. And yeah, Yukari's also downstairs. Oh, it's my room. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going in there yet. I can go up even higher. To new heights. A locked room. How mysterious. The door is locked. What's in this room? I'm. Bet we'll find out one day. Let's go to the rooftop. There's a notice on the door. Do not open. If open, close it. Well, I can't be a rebel. All right, I, I guess I, I guess I'm going to my room. Later at the dormitory lounge, a young man walked down the stairs as Mitsuru was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. It's Akihiko. <laughs> I I know him because that's my best friend's favorite character. She's played she played it before me. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. Apathy syndrome? I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. Do all of you people have personas before me? You all seem very clued in to what's going on. Nico? It's a new day. You overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? No. Not that one. I mean, the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming. It's coming. Well, that's spooky. Well, how about that? You don't believe me. First bell has rung. I believe you. There's a reason you told me that. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. 
Ugh, why him? I'd rather teach Utsubo Kubota. He became famous as a singer, but he's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Huh? Um... Who does she like? Uh... Th this guy? That's right, so you were listening to me after all. Heh <laughs> well, you know, how I like to pay attention. Man, you really saved my bacon, Millie. Millie Cook. It's me, Millie Cook. I really saved your bacon. You hear your classmates whispering. Millie gave him the answer. She must pay attention in class. She became slightly more popular. Oh, my charm is increased. Neato. Yeah, if you're new to Persona games, there's stats that you gotta raise. Charm being one of them. Okay, class has ended for today. There's nothing to do, so you decide to go back to the dorm. The dormitory lounge. Yukari is already here, talking with an unfamiliar oh, man. She's back. I'm back. So, this is our new guest. Oh, hi. Good evening. Good evening, sophisticated gentleman. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? Ikutsuki. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Can I just stay where I am? Ask? Um, why did you come here? Welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have another question? Uh, I just keep asking, why did you come here? Why did you come here? Who else lives there here? There are only four students in this dorm. Wait, seriously? You, Yukari here, Mitsuru. And Akihiko? And a senior named Akihiko Sanada. Okay, that's weird. I hope you all get along. Oh, sorry, his voice got glitchy there. Do you have another question? Uh, I saw something odd. Yukari's not gonna be happy I said you this. You saw something strange. Like what? Coffins in the streets. Oh, creepy little boy making me sign a contract. You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. It's bad for your complexion, you know. Something doesn't seem Do you right. Have another question. Uh, no, I hit them all. Then I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. His voice sounds familiar too. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. <laughs> I won't. I'll never forgive you. I hate you now. You'll get used to his lame jokes. You should rest for today. You decided to return to your room and sleep. It looks so funny. This game is quite old. Later, at a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard. What kind of room is this? So, how's she doing? What? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's? Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Weird. Meanwhile, in a back alley of Tatsumi Port Island. <sighs> this sucks. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune the Bay Tuners. For more of the hits. Yeah. The Midnight Channel. <laughs> nah, it's the dark hour, I guess. Does the dark hour happen every day? Or is it just sometimes? Huh? Did he say huh? I don't think he what said huh. The... What's happening to me? Nothing good. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> See, I feel like a lot of people are out at midnight still, though. This just happens to anyone that's out at midnight? I'm jumping the gun. I don't know the details of this yet. Back in a certain room in the dormitory. This room is weirding me out, man. Sleeping. 
The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. Are you watching me? During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Is that what just happened to that dude? Then she must be... As you can see, she's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Persona potential? Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. It's kind of creepy. Spying on me while I sleep. Uh, master. M master Millie Cook. Yeah, Millie Cook. That's me. The Velvet Room! I've never played Persona, The Velvet Room, and this guy right here is in every single game. Welcome to The Velvet Room. Again, I can't speak for Persona 1 and 2. I'm talking- When I'm referring to Persona games, I'm talking like 3, 4, 5. Igor! My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream, dream and, and reality, reality, mind and, and matter. matter. He says that every time, too. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. The paper you signed at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Um, I understand. Hold on to this. Obtain Velvet Key. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. Uh, I don't think I get Elizabeth as the female, though. Um, the Velvet Room always has attendants that are just in the Velvet Room with Igor. How do I explain this to new Persona fans? The, what you use to fight in this game is, uh, Personas. <laughs> Hence why it's called Persona. And then you go here to work on Persona stuff. And there's always an attendant that's with him in every game. Um, Elizabeth, uh, I think is the one for the male protagonist. She's she's very popular, but uh, we get the dude protagonist. Or, <laughs> protagonist, uh, Velvet Room attendant. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. Bye, Igor. <laughs> he looks so pixelated in that chair. It's so funny. You felt like you had a strange dream, yeah. It's time to go to school. Yo, man, I'm so sleepy today. It's times like this, it's best to sleep during class. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? Uh, don't sleep in class, Junpei. What? Why do you have to be such a- to be all serious? The feeling of being completely recharged is awesome, but I'm screwed later since I didn't hear the lecture. Oh, but we have classic literature today. That means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty old- <laughs> a, a coda? Oh, great. Oh, this guy. Yeah, I don't- I already don't like him. Ahem. I'm Mr. Ikoda. I'll be teaching your classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life. But oh, how th they are wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Yeah. Close your eyes for a few minutes? Stay awake. Hey, are you listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is... I can't say that. The origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters might call it Da Bomb. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I can tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. Oh my- Oh, it's called academics. Instead of, like, knowledge in this game. Your academics has increased. I did not fall asleep like Junpei. 
You met Yukari at the shoeboxes and decided to go back together. Palo Palonia Mall. Have you come here before? A lot no. of Gekukan students come here after school. There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe too. There's also a nightclub, but that's kind of not for us yet. The Palo pa pa <laughs> This mall is crowded with students on their way back from school. Okay, good stop. Welcome back. Hi. The moon is beautiful tonight. It might be nice to read a book by moonlight once in a while. These network computers were installed when the dorm was built. Their main purpose is to send the school reports about daily life here in the dorm. There used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking, but there's just us students here now. It'd be great to have somebody like like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not a good cook, and Mitsuru-senpai just doesn't do things like that. You know, if you're handy around the kitchen, I bet you could really do something with this place. Is that you telling me I'm gonna do something with this place at some point? You're tired today. You should go to bed early. Okay. Turn on the television. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a very dependable looking 20 year old woman. Her sister is a camera woman, and I have heard she got her camera from her master. Next is news. Pain, pain, go away. Okay then. What will you do? I guess I'm going back to my room. Yep. You feel tired, get some rest. Can I, can I do anything with this stuff yet? Uh, nope. Okay. Let's go to bed. Oh, the dark hour again. At a certain room in the, at the, in the dormitory. In the dormitory? Why couldn't I say that? The same as last night. Mm, Watching me while I'm asleep. interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation, but this subject is rather unique. God, his voice she is so familiar. Who are you? Of the common symptoms. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. Yeah, I guess. But still. An emergency call from outside rang through the Command room. room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Let's stop watching right. her sleep for now. Be careful. Akihiko! I'm alright. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Uh, what the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Talk it up. Go upstairs and wake her up. Then escape out the back. Oh, but I mean, wake, woke it up. Two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going. Your room. You were woken by a loud noise. Should you go check outside? Yeah, let's go. Bang, bang. Up. I'm up. I'm coming in. I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Um, uh, okay. Hurry, downstairs. We'll leave through the back door. Wait, take this, just in case. Gari handed you a long, thin implement. It seems to be a... Nag... Nag... Get okay, let's go. Follow me. Dormitory, first floor at the rear right. entrance. We should be safe now. Takeba. Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. 
The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. Oh, that's great. What? Is this the one Akihiko <laughs> saw? Second floor. What was that? It's getting closer. Keep moving, hurry. The dormitory rooftop. The door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Yeah, but isn't there stuff out here too? Oh my god, what the hell? Uh, oh, that's nice. Ew! Be kidding me. It's a bunch of hands. It climbed up the wall. There, they're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. <laughs> Wait. No. That's the that attack this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah, I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. I don't know, look like you're having trouble shooting yourself in the head at the start. Here goes. Are you sure you can do it? I'm gonna just shoot myself in the head, no problem. Don't have to tell me twice. In fact, you don't have to tell me at all, I'm just gonna do it. Persona! I am thou! She said it. Oh. Interesting looking. Oh my gosh, it's cool to see the evolution of this game over this uh, this, this game series. Comparing it to Awakening in Persona 5. Was that it? I'm not actually gonna fight? It just did it for me? I thought I was gonna tutorial fight. What on earth was that? <gasps> Neat. The sudden swell of power has subsided. Uh, Orpheus regained its original form. You obtained a new persona. Woo, persona! I got a persona. Is it over? <gasps> it's still moving. Tutorial fight? A piece of the shadow is heading for Yukari. No, get away from me. You have to save her. Ah, uh, generic shadows. That's <laughs> what they look like. We're just running around Persona 4. Okay. Attacking, attack using weapon equipped. Flee from battle, take defensive action, assign a new persona, give instructions to an ally, use an item, use a sign persona's special ability. I, I want to I wanna use my persona. Bash! Ba Aha! Okay, I have to bring up the controls in order to do that, that's kind of annoying. Oh dang! Ow. Okay, let's try, um, normal attack. It's so weird that I have to do it this way. But whatever. Ow. Mm, hit you again. Ha, you're dead. Woohoo! You felt a surge of energy inside uh, after the recent battle. Woo! HP and SP went up. I'm low. Wait, oh, I can create personas up to level 3. I'm not level 3. Level up! Orpheus is leveled up. My stats are leveling up. Augie! For uh, new Persona fans, that uh, is basically fire magic. The monsters are gone. It seems Yukari is safe too. You feel exhausted. You're losing consciousness. Good night. Bleh. Are you okay? 
No. Oh, come on. Please. Can you hear me? Answer me. I can hear you. I can't answer you, though. Hey, yo, what's up, Igor? This is the velvet room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see power. that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Uh, a persona? A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Um, that's what Orpheus is? When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop they are called your social, social links. links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Very well. Bye, Igor. Oh my- Dude, was I passed out that whole time? Well, you know what? We're gonna find out in the next episode of Persona 3! I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. And I hope you will actually watch this and enjoy it because I love Persona. It's one of my favorite game series. It makes me so happy. I love Persona so much. I'm very excited to continue this. I'm excited that I decided to do this. Um, I was gonna have to play Persona 3 at some point anyway, so why not do it with you guys? Again, if you've never played Persona and you're like, I feel confused, it's totally fine. You can jump in with 3 and it's no issue. There's just some stuff that is like the exact same in every Persona game. And that's why I have that knowledge. But yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to dive into this more. It's, it's interesting, Um, everyone already sort of has their personas, I guess, and they know about this other world, which is different from four and five. You're normally discover it together. But yeah, that is going to do it for the first episode. Um, right, like I said, the episodes of this Let's Play might be a little longer. Uh, it's taking the place of Dandelion on Mondays. But yeah, the episodes might be a little bit longer just because <laughs> Persona games aren't short. So to really get through this and make this Let's Play not take a whole year, <laughs> the episodes are going to be a bit longer, which I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!